Hey guys, welcome to the channel Market and Charter. Today, a quick but really important video about overvaluations or undervaluations using the Buffett indicator. As we have been seeing from the last few months, it's that there is a lot of talk about the overvaluation of stocks, the all thing bubble, every sector really overvalued. So let's try to understand because this indicator helped Warren Buffett reach to his billions of dollars around the, the time of his life. So let's first of all understand what it is. The Buffett indicator or the Buffett metric or the market capitalization to GDP ratio is a valuation multiple used to assess how expensive or cheap the aggregate stock market is at any given point in time. As you can clearly see in the market, uh, when we reached by the end of 2020 to the beginning of 2021 was already above the tech bubble of the 2000s. So you can see here how the, the Buffett indicator is telling us all that the stocks are really overvalued. But first, let's understand that for him, this was the best single measure of where valuations stand at any given moment in time. Let's see the math first. The MEF will be the aggregated US market value times 100 divided by the annualized GDP. Just to understand that if a stock is under or overvalued in comparison to what the economy is producing. So it's undervalued if the ratio is between minus 30% to minus 60%, the market is believed to be undervalued. And between minus 60% to minus 100% is considered to be strongly undervalued. For overvalue, on the other hand, is between if the ratio goes between 30% to 60% and really or strongly overvalue if the ratio goes along 60% to 100%. So if the Buffett indicator is too high, it means that companies in the economy are not producing enough to be worth their valuation on the stock market. 233%. So today, in June 2021, considering an aggregate US market value of $52.7 trillion and an annualized GDP of $22.6 trillion, the Buffett indicator sits at 233%, suggesting that the market is strongly overvalued. As we saw on the graph, is really above the tech bubble of the 2000, is really above the 100%, which is already considered a really overvalued uh, uh, percentage. So be careful guys, you can see uh, around us the all thing uh, bubble. It's really important to understand, be beware of the shift. Maybe we should consider defensive investments such as defensive stocks, dividend stocks, high value stocks and commodities. But don't forget, knowledge is not power, knowledge is potential power, execution is everything. And just like the markets, we will not rest.